I get a wool pen. Wool Bundy! Remember me, Bundy? No. <laughs> the one you insulted? I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to be a little more specific. <laughs> you made fun of my weight. You called me a giant seal. Well, let's see. I had four elephants. I had a <laughs> rhino who wanted some flip-flops. Had a manatee. <laughs> nah, nah, don't remember any seals. <laughs> Can you jog my memory? You know what jog is. That's what you do when the ice cream truck is pulling out. With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Uh, try the moon. You're way less than <laughs> I demand equal time. Speaking of equal, you really ought to try something. <laughs> I've only won them once, and they split at the sides. <laughs> well, let me explain. See, it's, it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on it. <laughs> Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> okay, Enid, work with me here. Pull in your talons. We're almost there. <laughs> See? I told you I was a four. No, ma'am. Four is what you'll have to yell when the shoe pops off your foot. <laughs> Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> Come on, Arnold. We're leaving. I want a balloon. You've already got one. <laughs> Give me the shoe. in my size. Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them. Well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? Do you want us to gag you? You're already doing that, but I would like to be blindfolded. <laughs> you can't compete with my charm. I'm a natural-born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? I'm going to go out on a limb here. You've never been employee of the month, have you? That's right. But if I were you, I wouldn't be going out on any limbs. We are trying to teach this man that his behavior towards us is unacceptable. But a better use of time would be to teach each other the words, no, thank you, I'm full. <laughs> size am I? Well, I'm no expert, but from where I sit, I'd say too big for shoes. Well, I'm not sure I like this shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. I want my money back. These shoes fell apart after one day, and I want to know why. Well, you see, ma'am, this is a pliant heel with a cork filling. Whereas you are a giant seal with a pork filling. <laughs> These shoes make me look fat. Oh. Be honest. <laughs> no, they make you look very... fat. <laughs> Just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> size between small and you. I really thought this mule would look better in white. I bet that's what her husband said on her wedding. Let's say I nail the soles directly to your feet. <laughs> It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. They don't fit. And your ad said we fit every foot. Yes, ma'am, but our problem is what we're dealing with is not what Webster meant by feet. 
Now, let's face it, girls, what we've got here are rib roasts with nails. Now, what I would suggest is surrounding your tootsies with those little brown potatoes wrapped in foil and sold with dry wine. I have tiny toes, don't you think? Oh, yes, indeed. For sausages. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it. Haven't you ever had something just slip right out of your mouth? I suppose not. <laughs> I'm not leaving here until you help me. Well, I don't know what I could do that God and Deal Emil couldn't, but I'll give it a shot. Did I tell you how pretty you look today? <laughs> no. Good. Then the blood is still reaching my brain. <laughs> It's against my belief to upset the balance of nature in any way. That's why I haven't washed my feet since I converted. <laughs> I hope I haven't offended you. Well, you've got to have lunch before you lose it. <laughs> you haven't heard the last of this. What goes around comes around. Well, considering your orbit, looks like I have about ten more years. <laughs> I just don't see anything I like. You ought to be sitting on this stool. <laughs> you will be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> These shoes are too big. I'm swimming in them. Well, that would explain the life preserver under your dress. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? <laughs> You don't seem to understand me. I want something that goes with this dress. A bubbling cauldron? <laughs> you got a lot of nerve. I need it to get this close to your feet. <laughs> I don't understand it. I was a size six before aerobics class. All that jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> And I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. <laughs> How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. <laughs> so because you're mad at me, you're going to take it out on a perfectly innocent chair. <laughs> a chair that has suffered enough already. Oh, these feel great. <laughs> Do they have a special gel lining? Yes, that's the blood spurting from my severed feet. of excessive cruelty to large women. You should see what he's like with midgets. <laughs> the proper term is little people. Well, that's the proper term for anyone standing next to you. That's it. Hey, that's our dinner coupons, you fat cow. No, 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 we, we don't like to be called fat. Then stay home. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. I'm not going to just disappear. You'll see me again. Wherever a fat woman shoves a smelly foot <laughs> in front of some poor guy's face, I'll be there. <laughs> Wherever someone comes into the store and tries to exchange a pair of shoes he's been wearing for three months, I'll be there. Whenever kids come into the store, take off their old shoes and try to sneak out with new ones. I'll be there, too. Madam, when Shamu needs a mate, you'll be there. Wow, that was uh, Best of Bundy Shoe Store customers. Man, Al Bundy was a savage. He's still a savage, man, but in this show, man, oh, man, how did he come up with all these, like, the writers of this show really, man, really talented people to come up with all these jokes, all these burns, and, man, like, every, almost everything he said, every line that Al Bundy said was funny to me, and it still is, like, this show is still timeless, man, it's like one of those timeless, funniest shows 
alongside with Roseanne, Living Color, you know, all these shows from the 90s, man. <sighs> We're probably going to do another reaction video to the Best of Bundy. Um, just, I can't, like, this is going down memory lane for me, you know. This is just, like, reliving all those funny moments and, uh, yeah, good times, good times. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, you like the reaction, and like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. We're almost to 100 subscribers. We're almost there. So you got to smash that sub button. Like, comment, share the video. Let's go. Peace.